and the clothes. As you know, most analytical software is using only the clothes, but uh, when you include all the data, it gives a more representative picture of what is happening, especially when you have some of those uh, wide-ranging days as we sometimes have uh, in the markets. Include all that data, all that influence, all that uh, effect on what is going on in the market. As I mentioned, we're going to look today at a uh, at the uh, Dow. Uh, the mini Dow is probably the Dow is kind of the look at when it comes to looking at the stock market, somebody will say, well, what did the market do today? Well, the Dow was uh, down 100 or up 200. Or uh, the Dow uh, moves $5 a point. Uh, a reasonably manageable traders, individual traders, and we'll talk about a bit about how to use that. Uh, this is a one-year chart. The only reason for showing you this because we can't really make decisions on the basis of this one-year chart. We can go for what is the dominant trend, and of course, the dominant trend, uh, you know, obviously for uh, some months from all the way back to March 2009, has been up. Uh, kind of a sharp setback that, uh, you know, was uh, stack if any uh, 401k. I'm going to cut a little bit to look at yeah, just a six-month time frame, uh, show you one of them, and we're going to show you the opportunity calculator. The calculator shows you that move from low to that high that we have there. It is, you know, it's a that's a thousand point move plus. And five thousand dollars per contract plus. So, so uh, it's something that is worth being a shot to get a portion of that. And then you're on the downside. You have same type of thing where you have a move, almost the same type of move. Uh, you know, in terms of, uh, but uh, when you look at the frame, you know that the up three months start. Started in February all the way through April, February, March, April, three months, and then you know much faster. Most it was on the downside, and as I mentioned, had a very uh, serious effect on some 401k plans or anybody who was holding stocks or mutual for a long period. Uh, look at the the uh, charts that you see here, the the uh, playing to uh, some of the indicators that are going to help us. Uh, we see that there's some opportunity there. First, we have to get it. So we're going to look short-term tools that are available to try to make some forecast where we're going to get in the market and where we're going to get out of the market. The first uh, indicate uh, predictive uh, blue line that you see there is the medium-term uh, predicted exponential moving. average. The black line that you see there is an actual moving average of the close. We'll talk about pretty uh, here's number two that we're going to look at is from the predicted neural index. Uh, the predicted neural index is that gray line that you see at the bottom. It is a comparison of two three-day moving averages, a predicted moving average and an actual moving average and it will forecast the typical price in two days. Will it be two days relative to what it is? If for carry one, uh, if that's, uh, then that's a bullish reading. Of course, if you uh, can't get trade, you like to have that be in the direction of the trade you're going. Uh, if the outlook is for a lower price in two days, you're going to have a reading of zero. So your only choices are one or zero. So it's pretty uh, a clear indicator of what is going on. Of course, there's degrees of uh, strength. That uh, indicator, but we, we won't go into We'll just take a look at the neural index as being a short-term gauge of what will happen in the next two days with typical prices. Again, I'm emphasizing not close.
closing prices are not highs or lows, but the averages are really different with the moving average comparison. So those uh, those two uh, difference lines are kind of like a momentum indicator. They will indicate or alert uh, somebody that something is about to happen. It may not have uh, shown up on the chart yet, but something is uh, coming up that is going to potentially happen that is going to direct prices in a particular direction. Now we're going to look at some of the uh, done the chart for for some of the clues that we have uh, whether we can uh, get in. And if we can find a place, we'll talk about some of the things that they do tell us, uh, you know, about the move oddity that we're going to us. As I mentioned the. Uh, predicted moving average uh, in here what direction is it going is the angle up is the angle down and market you know we, you know we're looking at the again next as the mini Dow uh, not like a stock in some knots but uh, we have a market here where you can go up or down long or short just as easily as the other the angle of that That line is important. When we also talk about moving averages, just as a move type of uh, clue has, so which are important indicators of trend. Changes and uh, where the momentum has reached the top, it has the actual moving average and provides a signal as to the direction that you should be in if you are in, interested in taking a position. So that uh, angle and the cross are both uh, being up at the bottom. Some side of the chart, look at the predicted differences. You will notice, as I mean, is the predicted medium term difference and it predicted crosses over the predicted term difference. As you can see, that occurs here. Ahead of this uh, price change, uh, you know, early alert, what it actually is telling you is that we have some momentum swings that are they're happening underlying the market. This is an indicator and is uh, narrowing. You know, you can, you know, in this case right here.